All right, welcome back. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And um, so I've got the 737 here. You know, pretty much all paid up, and it's uh, pretty much ready to go. And I'm going to start out by just using a, uh, a rat tail file and knock off uh, some of the rough edges. That's it. Alright, so next I'm going to get out some water because wet sanding is the key. And I'm going to start out with one of these alpha abrasive uh, pads. Again, this is a medium grit. And I'm, uh, I'm using it because it's just a little bit bigger. Um, you could use a medium sanding stick. I wouldn't use a coarse one, but a medium sanding stick will do the job as well. Um, so we're going to start out with, um, with this. And as you can see, it sands real easy. As long as you keep it wet, it comes right off. And that's the, the whole key. That's the whole attraction to it. Okay, I'm just knocking the, knocking the rough edges off here with this. One of the keys behind uh, using squadron putties is not to over sand. The putty itself is um, it's very soft. It sands easily, um, but as I said before, if you are aggressive with the sandpaper, you can just remove it right down to where it was before, and then you're back where you started from, and that's not what we want. So the key here is to be patient, take your time, really, really look at what you got. Now if I were using um, Tamaya Basic Gray, I, I keep going back to that as an example because uh, that is one of, the, one of the better putties on the market that a lot of people seem to be drawn to nowadays. If you're using that here, um, what I'm doing right now would be a much, much more difficult job because that's a much harder putty. All right, so now I've knocked a lot of it off with uh, with this sanding you know pad here, and I need a little more control now. So what I'm going to do is switch over to the squadron medium grade sanding stick, and just keep on going here. Again, I don't want to be too aggressive because if I am too aggressive, I'll go right back to where my seam was, and that we don't want. When you get in close, you have to kind of ease up because you will take out too much if you're not careful. Alright, so I'm going to go to the next uh, finer grid. is a squadron fine premium sanding stick. All right, so I've, um, I've taken this fuselage, I've uh, medium sanded it and fine sanded it down to the point where it is now. And you can go back and you can find little errors, um, 
little flaws and you can fix those with um, some minor applications of additional putty. But um, I found sometimes that the best way to do this is to just go over uh, everything again with a very, very, very thin layer of uh, squadron putty thinned down with alcohol. So that's what we're going to do here. And I've got it in a bottle. And uh, again, this is nothing more than thin with 91% alcohol. It's not acetone. Um, it's very, very easy to work with. Make sure it's at the right consistency. Again, we're looking for a very, very thin coat. So I'm going to add a little bit, not much, just a little bit of alcohol here. And this is, you know, fairly typical because you do get some evaporation. And there's no perfect, you know, mix or anything. So I want this to be, you know, fairly thin because what we're doing here is we're just putting this thin layer, and so we're dealing with like little pinholes and little imperfections, and little areas that may have been over sanded a tiny bit. So about that consistency, maybe, more or less. Again, it doesn't have to be that precise. So I'm just going to go over this whole thing. And I'll come back with some, um, some fine sandpaper and then some extra fine. And that will get it ready for uh, priming. It's be nice and smooth after this. This dries very quick. Just give me you know, 10 minutes or so, and we'll be good to go. extra step <clears throat> makes it a lot easier if you find some areas that have some more significant flaws, you can put this on a little bit thicker and deal with those specifically before we ever get to this point. And this is such a thin layer, it'll sand right off. So, done. Let that sit for 10 minutes. Be good to go. Wash the brush out in alcohol. So it's been about 10 minutes, and uh, I'm going to use two grades of sandpaper here. I'm going to use this um, this uh, fine, or very fine, it's, it's probably more like it, and then I'm going to follow it up with the extra fine. And um, this would be comparable to the red premium sanding stick. It's about, about the same. Um, all right, so here we go. comes off very, 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 very easy. A 
allows us to fill these minor imperfections. You kind of think of this as your glaze coat, for want of a better word. Uh, when you're dealing with um, larger amounts of putty and coarser sandpaper, you know, again, you have the problem of uh, trying to get a lot of putty off, but not too much. And so, invariably, you know, it's not going to be a perfect process. So, if you take this little extra step, come back and um, just apply this very, very, very thin layer and uh, sand it off, you know, real easily, like I'm doing right now. Um, then you'll find that this moves up very, very, very nice um, without a great deal of effort. You know, and that's kind of what we're looking for, right, as modelers, trying to do something smarter and easier. Now, you could do this uh, with a harder putty, but uh, it wouldn't be as easy to do as what I'm doing right now. Just take more effort to sand off. Get you the same results, though. I'm probably going to have to get inside these little uh, curved areas with um, with my sanding stick. And again, I want to emphasize the ease with which this is all coming off. Just nice wet sanding comes right off, no problem. Sometimes you have to use a little sanding twig to get in close. And these are not really super fine grit, but you know, it's a compromise you kind of have to make. Just have to get a light with it. Um, and surface scratches that you may get from this compared to the surrounding body work, as long as they're shallow, they'll be covered up with a primer coat. I'm being very gentle. Okay. So I'm going to transition now to the red, the extra fine. All right, that, that pretty much um, has it done. I'm not sure how much you can see here. Okay, let's take the camera off the tripod and see if we can get you a closer look. All right, so um, here's our final result. And um, hopefully you can see that this is pretty good. Nice and smooth, nice, nice and consistent. So yes, it can be done. Uh, it just takes um, a little bit of practice and some basic technique. And all you have to do really is graduate your sandpaper down at the proper time and don't be so aggressive with it. Take advantage of uh, squadron putty's properties and be smart and avoid those things about it which uh, can get you into trouble. So there you go and if you feel so inclined then uh, go get you some and have at it. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time.